Okay, I've decided to make another um, video of this really awesome um, Westinghouse uh, columnaire grandfather clock radio power supply amplifier from 1931. And I, I just love this thing. I think it's the coolest looking thing. It's so heavy, heavily built, solid, great big um, components. Okay. Um, okay. First thing is uh, this little box here houses a fuse. Actually has a fuse, 1931, and a, has a fuse. Okay. Here's the the shelf for the for the rectifier tube and the uh, 45 tubes. Uh, there should be one more tube here. Um, push pull output. Okay. Here are the um, three power supply filter capacitors. These are not electrolytic, they're um, uh, paper type paper, or maybe paper and oil. Um, these two large ones are 8 microfarad and this smaller one is a 4 microfarad capacitor. Okay, this um, this big can here houses the inner stage and the output um, transformers, and this this little metal box here with with this uh, cable that's been cut would have gone to the RF chassis, and um, this has uh, B plus voltages. Uh, filament voltages for the tubes on the on the RF chassis. Um, this is also where I will have to when I when I hook up a, a preamp up to this, I, I'll have to go in here and underneath to one of the terminals uh, in order to drive the um, the interstage transformer. Okay. Here's the plug. I'll have to uh, take that off and replace it. And that goes into here. I believe this wire is for the probably to run the motor of the clock. And here is the um, main thing that I was trying to figure out, there's these three wires that come out of this grommet here and I think I finally got it figured out which one um, comes off the plate or pardon me, the, which one <coughs> comes off the output transformer for the speaker and uh, one is like a, a ground and the other one is uh, for, the, for the field coil of the speaker so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a choke probably from old radio radioparts.com um, the, the 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 field coil for the original loudspeaker on this is I think it's about 1300 ohms DC which is really high so um, I might have to um, put two chokes in series or a choke and a power power resistor to um, to make make up for that and um, so I will probably when I when I put this into a cabinet I will probably just mount the choke on on the side of the cabinet inside and then um, the um, speaker wire will go down to the speaker cabinet below. Okay. 
and here is the power switch which actually goes into um, a grommet and a hole between the um, choke and power transformer can So I'm going to um, try and order a choke and um, <clears throat> once I get the choke hooked up <coughs> I can just use any speaker and uh, see if I can get this thing going. Um, the windings on the on the interstage and output transformer seem to be okay. There's continuity. The uh, power transformer seems okay uh, for continuity. Um, so I'll just um, put a new plug on and then um, run this through a um, dim bulb uh, dim bulb tester fuse and um, see what I can get and I don't, I don't know how good these capacitors are probably gonna have to replace them but um, I just think this is the coolest thing. It's just, just li unlike anything, and uh, should sound pretty good when I get it going. Uh, for um, tape, I can plug my tape recorder, CD player, or a uh, record player into it, and uh, so.